A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On one occasion, Jesus spoke thus, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, to you I offer praise for what you have hidden from the learned and the clever you have revealed to the merest children. Father, it is true. You have graciously willed it so. Everything has been given over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are tired or heavily burdened, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with the Holy Spirit in their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, every week, every Sunday, you come before the Lord because of humility. Every week you say, Lord, trabajo, no, kayo po ang number one. I leave behind all the trips I want to do, but I am here with you every week. That's for me a sign of humility. For one hour, I don't touch my cell phone. That's not important. You are important, Lord. Isn't that a sign of humility? And thank you, brothers and sisters, for taking time before the Lord and humbling yourself before God every day especially on a day like today, Sunday. After all, Sunday is the Lord's Day. So, pwede po ba? Palakpakan po kayong lahat. Thank you. The Lord is happy you are here. Uh, mindfulness. Tignan mo ngayon katabi, katabi mo. Tanungin mo naman siya, Kumusta ka? How was your week? Kumusta ang linggo mo ang nagdaan? Pagod ka ba? Kapagod, no? O kumusta naman ang paglalakbay mo? How is your journey through life? Kumusta? Mabigat ba? May mga problema ba? May mga roadblocks? May mga bumps? Kumustahan lang, ang laking bagay na yun, nakaka-refresh na, hindi po ba? Don't forget, your simple smile can be a source of refreshment, refreshing moment for the person beside you. O, pwede ba magbigay tayo ng refreshing smile sa isa't isa? Ayan. At ikaw na nag-smile, na-refresh ka rin. Yung hindi nag-smile, ganun pa rin. Talagang <laughs> walang nangyari. What is the Lord telling us all? Oh, one more thing. Not only smile, maybe a good word. Pakisabi mo lang sa katabi mo. Relax ka lang. Take it easy, ha? Huwag ka masyadong... Relax lang. Easy lang. At kung may pinagdadaanan ka, daanan mo lang. Di ba? Di ba? Kaya nga pinagdadaanan, eh. Problema natin, umistambay ka na dyan. Naku. Ang tagal na yan. Yung hindi mo pa napapatawad, 
wala na, inislambayan mo na lang. Move on, let go, let God. Mga kapatid, always remember this. We have only today. Yesterday, tapos na po yan. It will not come back again. Tomorrow, may never come. So today, be happy please. Do not be sad today. You give glory to God. If you say, Lord, in spite of all problems and pains, I am here. I glorify you. I trust in you. Sisters and brothers, if you are tired or heavily burdened, you have come to the right place. Come to me. All you who are tired, heavily burdened, Alikayo, come. And I will give you rest. Sisters and brothers, tired, burden. Work makes us tired. Problems make us tired. Overthinking makes us tired. Finances make us tired. People make us tired. Situations make us tired. Lahat naman tayo napapagod. Sisters and brothers, even government makes us tired and sick. See? So what do we do? The Lord said, Come to me. Don't come, don't go. Marami sa atin, pagod ako eh. Kaya dapat relax, shut muna. Oh, pagod ako. Sige, internet ako ng internet para makarelax. Oh, go to pleasures. Sumama ka sa barkada, magchismisan tayo maghapon. All these things are temporary. So if you really want true rest, you have to learn to turn to the Lord. Kapatid, pakitanong mo ngayon katabi mo, kung ikaw yung uh, pagod, if you are burdened, who do you turn to? Anong comfort zone mo? What do you do? Marami sa atin, kanya-kanyang, but again, I remember a song, Years ago, the song entitled, Who Can I Turn To? Oh, seniors, let's sing it. Who can I turn to when nobody needs me? My heart. Wala na naman tayo. Hindi basta. You turn to God. Don't turn to your so-called friends. Don't turn... Okay mga yan, pero they are not the solutions. The solution is you turn to God. Why? Because he said, I will give you rest. Ha? Huh? Baka rest in peace na yun, Father. And they rest. <laughs> rest means you relax. You're at peace again. You're at peace. Why? When you turn to God, God tells you again, Anak, halika, mahal kita. May sakit ka, don't forget, mahal kita. May problema ka sa pera, don't forget, I am here. Hindi kita pababayaan. Anak, oh, mayroon ka mga hinanakit, come here. Mag-forgive ka na. That kind of love we can get from God. And God tells us also, when you turn to me, experience quiet, peace. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 And assurance, I am with you always and in all ways. Remember how our parents told us, we are with you. This is the same thing na nakukuha natin when we turn to God. So today, what is the secret? The realities can tire us and burden us. But you know what? It's also your mindset 
that can make you or break you. Kung wala kang mindset of God in your life, papatulan mo lahat yan eh. Choose your battles. Hindi natin kaya. So here is the Lord to tell you, what is the secret? Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Kapatid, you will lessen your tiredness, your burden, if you take the road of humility. Yan po ang susi. Right now, think of what is burdening you. Finances. Okay. That's a real problem. Pero kung wala kang mindset of humility, you lose faith na. Ano bang mangyayari? You worry, you're angry. But with humility, you say, Lord, I know in humility I can ask from you. Mayro kang sandalan. You're not alone. So take the road of humility. Oh, hindi ka pa nagpapatawad. What is the key? Ang bigat ng burden yan. Ilang taon na yan? Humility. Magpakumbaba ka lang, solve na yan eh. Yung awa yun ni Mrs. Mag-sorry ka na. Take the road of humility. It's okay. Okay po. Kahit nasaktan ako, o medyo nalamangan ako. Okay. Pero kung ang mindset mo, the mindset of the world, get even. Sige. Laban. You will never have peace. You will never have true peace. Kapatid, lower your pride. A lot of things fall into place if you lower, just lower your pride. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo. May kilay pa ba yan? Yan o, you lowered your pride, tumawa ka na lang. Mga iba nagalit, o yun, mataas pa rin ang pride. What I'm saying is this. If you just know the mindset of humility, gumagaan po ang problema. Oh, hindi ba alin ang walang kilay? Huwag lang mataas ang kilay. Oh, di ba? Sisters and brothers, so, alam nyo yung GPS? Di ba pag nawawala ka, when you lose the way, what does uh, Mr. Ways tell you? Uh, recalculate, recalculate, ano? reset, what do you call that? Maybe we have to recalculate, reset our mindset. Number one, humility. If you want to take the road of humility, let's go back. The first one is, who do you think you are? Bakit sino ka ba sa palagay mo? Yun, doon maraming problema Kung ikaw ang palagay mo, well, ako ang pinakasikat, ako ang pinakamagaling, ako lang mabait, ako lang... Uh, that kind of mindset will bring you to a lot of problems and trouble. Lower your self-image, siguro. The world tells you, go for it, you're the best, aim high. Lahat yan eh. Yeah. But the world does not tell you too. That if you take that road of aiming high, being ambitious, do everything you can, you also have a lot of stress and fatigue and loneliness. Here is the Lord telling you, Anak, medyo babaan mo yung pananaw mo sa sarili mo. Believe ka kasi masyado sa sarili mo na parang masagiang ka lang ng konti, galit ka na. If you are humble, it's okay. Fine, okay lang yan. Ayos lang yan. I remember, Papa always telling us doon, kung may mga mayayabang, ya mo lang, Jerry. Basta, mag-aaral ka lang. That kind of advice. I hope you teach the children to be humble, not to be proud, not to be number one always. What for? Who you are. Mga kapatid, a humble self-image. Most of us have a bloated self-image. That's why 
Ang dami tayong stress hurts unnecessarily. And today, recalculate this also. Who or what others think you are? Marami sa atin take the road of I'm better than the rest. Ano kayang sasabi nila? What do others think about me? Huh? Baka may sabihin sila. Kung yan ang mindset mo, just ko po ang gulo ng buhay mo. You're always thinking of you, you end up what? You end up a, a crowd pleaser. Pleaser. Crowd pleaser. You want to please the crowd. Ay, naku, ang hirap ng buhay na ganyan. I have to be better than the Joneses. Tone down. You know, the crowd is something that's here today, gone tomorrow. Kung ang buhay mo ay nakasalalay lang, revolves around sa palakpak na mga tao, after a while, you're empty. Those people will go away. Nobody stays forever. So, what I'm saying is, don't mind too much what others think of you. So we come now to the third. What does God think of you? Yan. Yan na lang. Lord, ano man ang palagay ko sa sarili ko, I could be wrong. People, what people say or think of me, that could be misleading. But what do you think of me? Yun po ang pinaka-importante. Alam niyo yung importante kasi yun ang mahalaga. That's what is important. What does God think of you? Forget the applause. Forget the, the praise of the crowd. And forget your own way of thinking kung sino ka. Lord, who am I to you? Sino po ba ako? There's a song that says, Lord, you know me. Search me. Who I am, what I do. You know when I rise or when I sit down. You know my thoughts from afar. If I go to hell, you'll still be there. You know me through and through. Psalm 139. So Lord, kilala po niyo ako. At kung kilala po niyo ako, kahit anong sabihin ng iba, basta you know me, Lord. Klaro tayo, everything else is secondary. So dear friends, don't have a bloated, proud self-image. Don't be misled by what people think or say about you. That's okay to listen, but you will not live your life according to their thoughts about you. Ano ka, entertainer, crowd pleaser lang? You live your life for them, what they want you to be. I live my life, Lord, for what you want me to be. Sisters and brothers, uh, there's an author who said, you know, at 20, at the age of 20, I worried about what others think of me. Yeah. At age 40, uh, I don't care anymore what others think of me or talk about me. And at the age of 60, I found out that they don't think about me at all pala. They don't. <laughs> Yun. So, what God thinks of you, that's the most important. And dear sister, the brothers, humility is the key. I, I experience liberation. Normal lang naman po yun, ha? We are so sensitive who we are, etc. What others say. You know, I was liberated. A breakthrough happened when, you know, I accepted that I'm not that good as I think I am. As others think that I am. No, no, I'm not that good. You can say anything you want. I know myself. But I'm not that good. But, I'm not that bad either. Because of God's mercy and love. When you come to that peace now, <laughs> you can say anything you want, pero kilala ko sarili ko eh. I know myself. So I'm not that good. 
before I believed I'm that good. There were times no one when I was younger, wow. I made myself believe, people made myself believe that I'm that good. No, 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 no. I'm not that good. But, hey, I'm not that bad either. I'm at peace with that. Because God has told me that in very simple way. Kapatid, you too, stop thinking that you're that good. Unless you're really that good, no? But be comfortable. We are not that good. But, iyon yung bad eh. You're not that bad either. So today you go home and say, Lord, thank you. Salamat po. I'm not that good, but I know, you know, hey, I'm not that bad either. Sisters and brothers, cardinal virtue. Humility is called the cardinal virtue. What does it mean? Lahat ng mga virtues, nakapaikot yan sa humility. Oh, anong virtue mo na kulang? Patience? If you want to have patience, be humble. Bakit ka walang pasensya? Kasi mga yan, hindi, hindi marunong magalang. If you're humble, you will not judge people na. Anong problema mo? Uh, wala kang joy? If you're humble, you can say, Lord, I know there, it's not a perfect world. I can take sorrow. Any, anything that's kulang sa'yo, kindness, generosity, kulang ka ba dyan? Go back to humility. Lahat ng, all we have is from God. So in humility, we give it back to people. The fruits of the Spirit. Uh, so many. So today, you ask the Lord to, Lord, give me the humility. Sana po, so I could have a more peaceful life and a more loving life. Sisters and brothers, finally, what is humility? Accept that there is a God and you're not Him. Hindi ka ang Diyos. Huwag kang mag Don't play God. There is a God. You're not Him. Clear. And number two, the second thing you accept is that there are other people in this world and you're just one of them. The world does not revolve around you. Ang daming tao, I'm just one of them, Lord. If you have this mindset, you're taking the road of humility. Why, why, why humility? Simply lang. So that you have a re more restful life, more peaceful life, more loving life, more joyful life. Sisters and brothers, today, as we come before the Lord, let us ask Mama Mary to teach us true humility, hiddenness. She did not project herself. It was always her son. Pwede po ba mag-wave tayo kay Mama Mary? Mama Mary, please, help us to be more humble. Ay, yung mag-wave, huwag ganyan. Kita bilbil yan, oh. Mag-wave po tayo, ganun lang, ha? Mama Mary's wave. Huwag na tayong pasikat, payabang, pabongga. Simplicity is beauty, like Mama Mary. And now, may I ask you to as you have waved, may I now ask you to use your hands to fold your hands like this. The way we used to pray when we were little children. Remind us, Lord, that we are little. We are nothing. Wala po kaming pwedeng ipagmalaki sa inyo, Panginoon. Nothing. All our achievements and so-called merits and goodness are all because of your grace. 
be lethal so that God can speak to you. Be lethal so that you can hear what others are saying. Be lethal. Be humble. Lord, I am just passing by. I am not an immigrant. I will be gone someday. Sana po, I did not hurt people as I passed by. I did not make people sad as I passed by. I hope wala akong iniwan ng basura sa mundong ito. Sana po, kahit papano, in my little way, I have made this a better world. I have helped others. I've brought up good people, good children, good family. Ako po yung abang abang lingkod, mababang. Mababang anak po ninyo, Panginoon. I am just a small voice, a small light, but I'm burning with love coming from you. At sana po, With humility, I can spread this flame of love wherever I go, whatever I do, in my own little way, in my own hidden way. But the Lord, you know everything. You know me. Enough for me to know that you are there, that you love me. And that you and I have a beautiful relationship. And mga kapatid, these folded hands is also a gesture for asking. Meron ka bang gustong hingiin kay Lord? Is there anything you want to ask from the Lord? Like a little child with folded hands. Ask. Believe, trust, surrender. For nothing is impossible with God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, saints and martyrs. Thank you, angels. Thank you, all you of humble and gentle hearts. Amen, Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Oh, let's give one another. A beautiful assurance. Tell one another again, don't worry. Be happy. God loves you. And Mama Mary loves you. Amen and amen.